This is a demonstration of an early prototype of a uh, computer-assisted Harbor Freight digital caliper. Uh, there's a couple of limitations with these calipers. Uh, the first is sometimes the display is not easily read because you're measuring it at an angle that's uh, not easily seen. Uh, so the result is echoed onto the screen here. Uh, but if it just did that, and you can find many, many examples of this online, if it just did that, it's not terribly impressive. But uh, that's just the beginning. The uh, next layer of enhancement is uh, it has automatic hold and it has automatic minimum detection. So here I have a piece of drill rod that's uh, 0 0.7500 inches in diameter. And the way this caliper works, you can see both the caliper and the display, I pull back more than a tenth of an inch. And when I do that, the computer recognizes that as the beginning of a new measurement cycle. And it says, ready. Then, I put the caliper, I'll show you both of them, Oop, it bumped, put the caliper on there, and you can see I've obviously done it crooked. And I intentionally started it out like this, and then rotated it up, but notice that the computer was able to detect the minimum, and it picked up seven... 149.5 thou, even though the final value on the caliper is uh, 0.7635. Uh, so it picks up the minimum to reset. All I have to do is slide it out uh, more than a tenth of an inch, and that's just arbitrary, but I found that convenient. And I could take another reading. Oh, it's pretty sensitive to, uh, to changes. So then I've taken the second reading, and this one came out at 750.5. Um, there's some variation. Let's see, I'll do it one more time. 749.5. Oh. Now, yeah, what I did there, you see how it says ready? That's because it doesn't, doesn't display the answer until it's sure it's found a minimum. So there, I, in, I opened the jaws very, very slightly, and it detected the change. So it got 749. Do it again. See, now it's sitting there, and I pull back 79.5. So it doesn't display until it starts to see the numbers increase again. One place where that's handy is here it's wide open and as I close it, it's still going to read ready because it's seeing an ever decreasing number. I stop, boom, there it's locked in the 80. Then I just pull back a tenth and it's ready for the next one. Now it also works for millimeters. You can see it's on millimeters now. Same thing, except now it's reading in millimeters. So this is the first layer of uh, enhancement. The next layer is going to be putting in calibration tables so I can measure a series of gauge blocks and it will make corrections based on uh, those gauge blocks. And you can put in an arbitrarily large number of them and they can be of uh, any value in steps of 10 thousandths of an inch. Notice that there's no keyboard involved it's smart enough to recognize the values of the gauge blocks uh, and make the proper uh, data inputs. So, lots more to do here. Um, give you an idea of what's what's in this prototype. First of all, this is just a Harbor Freight digital caliper. They're on sale right now for ten dollars. This is a uh, Spark Fun display 20 characters by two uh, believe it's about 
sixteen dollars and then the computer over here it's an Ardi Arduino Pro Micro and it's twenty dollars then over here is a small interface circuit uh, that goes to the caliper and the way the caliper works is uh, it's constantly putting out clock and data even when the display is blanked and if I didn't do something to that interface circuit it would drain the battery prematurely so when I'm not doing reads of the caliper I turn off this interface to minimize the current drain on the caliper. So that's what I have so far. When I add the, uh, the calibration, it's going to actually look about the same. It just will be a little more accurate. Um, but uh, even with what I have so far, the local minima function works quite well. Do one more, see what happens. Oh, that's in millimeters. That's not interesting. Okay. One for the road, 750.5. Okay, so I'll give you a taste of things to come, and uh, eventually I'll have this boxed up in something small and pretty. Thanks for your attention.